Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Lutron Cassetta Wireless Dimmer Kit with SmartBridge. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it comes back to you right here in an incredible retail box where we can learn a lot about the product and what they have to offer right here. We get two dimmers, two remotes and pedestals, a smart bridge, and the Lutron app is free and works with iOS and Android devices. This is Apple HomeKit compatible as well. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up we have our quick start guide right here, complete with full setup instructions and information for you, walking through step by step how to get the dimmers installed. Then you can see we have some wire nuts and screws. We have a patch cord. We have a power supply for the bridge with the micro USB end on it. Here's the bridge right here with the Lutron logo and branding on the top. Really sleek design. We can see plus button. We have a micro USB port and we have our ethernet port on the back. We have our home kit information down here and some more product information as well as their customer service and contact support lines. Then you can see we have both of our pedestals right here with our remote control. Looks great, very simple controls. Lightweight, easy to hold and comfortable to hold in your hand. And the pedestal is really nice, guys. Lutron logo right here. Flip it over to the back, we got the Lutron branding on the back side. It's got a decent weight to it. Really a nice pedestal. Good grip too with that rubber on the bottom. So it is a weighted pedestal, which is fantastic. And again, they're identical to each other. The remote control just slides right off, like you can see right there, and then slides right back on. Then last but not least, we have both of our dimmers right here. So you can see two black wires and a green wire coming out of the back side. Here it is from the front. So you can see same controls as the remote. Really nice, guys. They are physical buttons you can push right there. So really nice. There's the faceplate already came installed. See it from all different sides and angles. Here it is from the back side again where we can unclip the faceplate on both sides right here. Both dimmers are identical to each other and they look fantastic. Really a nice design. Very simple and easy to operate, which is what you want. Now let's go ahead. Let's get everything set up. So the first step in the installation process is to disconnect power from the switch you're gonna be replacing. In this case, we went ahead, we shut off the breaker for the switch right here. You can see we have a nice tester pen and nothing is lighting up. There is no power coming to this box. We've identified the switch we want to replace. Throughout this whole process, be sure to reference their instructions. And if you're not comfortable with this process, go ahead, consult a local electrician to complete the installation for you. Now let's go ahead, let's remove these two Phillips head screws and remove the old switch. Now that we have the old switch removed right here, go ahead, take a picture of how everything's configured and wired in your box in case you have to reference it at a future point. Now go ahead, disconnect the wires and let's get the new switch installed. So here's the three wires we have to work with, two black wires and a bare copper ground wire. Your ground wire should be bare copper or green. You're gonna attach that wire to the green wire on the back of our Lutron switch. Then take the remaining two black wires in the wall and attach them to the remaining two black wires on your switch. And that's gonna be all three wires and where they're gonna go. It does not matter which black wire connects with which black wire on the back of your Lutron switch. You can choose either one for either one of these wires. So there we go, you can see we got all three wires connected right here. Now it's time to gently push everything back into the box and get the new dimmer installed. The next step is to attach your faceplate. Once you have your faceplate attached, you can go ahead, you can reconnect power. We already have power restored to the switch. So let's go ahead, let's turn the light switch on. You can see everything lights up and it works great. Now we're taking a look at the two lights that are connected to our Lutron switch. So let's go ahead, let's power it on. You can see right there, we push the on button at the top and everything turned on great. Now let's go ahead, let's decrease the brightness. So you can see we're decreasing the brightness right here. So we're at the lowest brightness setting. If we wanna really quickly go back to max brightness, 
just push the on button again and there you go you can see we're back to our max brightness now let me go ahead and let me push the off button so you can see what it's like when we turn the lights off as well so everything works great very responsive and very easy to dim your lights so now that we have everything installed, our next step is to plug in the wireless smart bridge. So go ahead, plug it into the back of your router and then download the Lutron app from iOS and Android app stores. Once you have it downloaded, sign in or create a profile, then you'll be at this screen where we need to go ahead and confirm that we have plugged in our bridge. So let's go ahead, select next. It's gonna work on discovering our system. It's found our device, so now we have to tap the button on the back of it. So go ahead, push this button and it's gonna work on connecting to our system. Now you can see everything's connected. We can change the name. Let's leave it my home, then select next. Now you can see we can set our time and location. Select next. Now you can see we can use Siri to control our Lutron lights. You can choose at home now or not now. Let's go ahead, let's select at home. Choose a name, select save. Now we need to enter our setup code. We're gonna scan our setup code right there, and now it's gonna work on connecting. You can see the accessory has been added. Now we can go ahead, select okay. Additional setup is required, so let's go ahead, let's select done. Now it's working on getting our devices ready. Now we can choose which devices to add. In this case, we're gonna add our in-wall dimmer, so go ahead, select that. Now we have instructions to go to those dimmers and press and hold the bottom button for 10 seconds until the LEDs blink quickly. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. So once I held the button down for 10 seconds, this screen popped up on our mobile app. So you can see we can now name our device. So let's go ahead, let's name it kitchen because that's where it's at. Select next. Now we can choose what type of light it's controlling. Select next. And now our device has successfully been added. Let's go ahead, let's add our other dimmer. So let's repeat the same steps. In wall dimmer switch. Now let's hold it down for 10 seconds. Now we're brought back up to the same screen again. This time let's select front porch. Next. Now we can choose our lighting type. Next. There we go guys, we just added our second light. We have set up all the Lutron products that we have at this time, so we can select I am done adding devices. And now you can see we're taken back into the app right here where we can manage those devices. Now from that same app screen, you can see both of our devices. So first up we have our kitchen lights. And then we have our front porch lights. So let's go ahead, let's choose our kitchen lights. You can see all the settings that we have right here. So you can see we have a slider letting us know how bright the light is. And then we can quickly turn it on and off as well by selecting the light bulb icons or individually adjusting the brightness right here for the light. We can also select edit device. And now we're taken into its settings where we can change the name, we can change the type, we can change the device icon, or we can delete the device. Now let's look at those same settings for our front porch light, so you can see the controls that we have. Quickly turn it on or off, or adjust the brightness right here individually by 1% every time we push it. Or we can go ahead and we can drag the slider to turn it on or off, or adjust the brightness to whatever level we want. Same thing, we can select edit device right here. We can change the name, the room, the type, the device icon, we can also delete the device and select done. Also, really quickly at the top, you can select that icon and we can choose to turn off all of our lights at the same time, which is really convenient. We can also set scenes. So let's go ahead, let's create a scene. Let's call it DD1, choose our icon, select next. Now we can choose, do we want one or both of the lights? In this case, let's do both. We can choose the brightness and the settings for each of them. So let's go ahead, let's adjust the overhead light to 50% and our inside light to, let's do 75% and then select done. So now we've created our first scene. We can add multiple scenes if we want for different products and lights. Now let's go ahead, let's select schedules. Same thing, we can add a schedule right here. We can choose the days of the week that we want depending on our schedule, whether it's for work, weekend, you know, morning, evening, afternoon, that sort of thing. Then select next. We can choose the time of day. And then you can choose sunrise, sunset, five minutes before. You can choose whatever you want right there. So let's do time of day, select next. Let's name it DD2, select next. We can choose again if we wanna add multiple lights to this. 
So let's just do main lights, 50%. Select done. And there we go. So every day the lights will come on at that time right there. They'll be enabled and we can use them. We can also test the event if we want or we can delete it. So let's select done. Now we can add another schedule right here, same thing. We can choose the day or the time, select next, DD3. Let's do DD3 right there. Next, kitchen lights. And then we can choose what happens there. Let's have them be off. And there we go. So every day now at 3.24 p.m., they will shut off and we can keep setting our schedule this way. Don't forget we can add multiple devices. We can also go back in very easily test everything as well too. So we could turn the lights off, then test the event to see that they actually shut off. So I can't confirm for you guys, I just tested these events and they work great. Now we can't forget about the remote controls. You do have to set those up within the app as well. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. Select the top left-hand corner settings gear icon, then select add device. Now we need to choose from that list of devices again to select our item. So in this case, we're gonna select Pico Remote. Now we have to hold it down for 10 seconds, the bottom button, until the LED lights blink quickly. So give it a couple of seconds. There we go, ours is blinking quickly, and now you can see all the different options for the rooms that we can control. So in this case, let's select Kitchen, select Next, and it's gonna work on adding the device for us. Now we can choose what type of device does this Pico control, Lights, and then Next. And there we go, it was just successfully added. We could either add another device, like our second remote, or select I'm done adding devices. And there we go, everything is now set up properly. And you can see it right here now. So it has successfully added the Pico remote control under our kitchen room with our main lights. So now you can see we're back here with our remote control and you can see the kitchen lights in the background. Let's go ahead, let's try it out. So we can turn the lights off, just like that. We can turn them back on, just like that. And then we can adjust the brightness right here by pushing the arrows up or down, depending on what we want. So there we go, you can see we're at our dimmest level. And now we can keep bumping up the brightness or we can hold it down to adjust the brightness again. And now we're back at max brightness. And then in the middle, we have our favorites button in case you're wondering what that is on the remote control. Since these lights are HomeKit compatible, I wanted to show you guys how they work with Siri. You already saw the setup in this video, but now let's go ahead, let's actually try it out. Hey Siri, turn on kitchen. Okay, the main lights are on. There we go, Siri just turned them on. Hey Siri, turn off kitchen. Done. And there we go, Siri just turned them off. Everything works great. So in conclusion, count me pleasantly surprised. So if you've watched a lot of reviews on my channel, I cover a wide variety and range of smart tech, but I tend to stay away from hub required devices. I don't wanna get sucked into an ecosystem. I wanna be able to shop by price, brand, that sort of thing and not have to worry about, does it work with my hub? Is it compatible or not? But I gotta say, this Lutron experience is making me rethink that to some degree. So I'm still team no hub, but if I'm gonna get a hub and I wanna to choose to build my smart house out around a certain app or a certain brand, Lutron's definitely in the running. Very simple and easy setup, very straightforward. Everything has worked great. It helps that Lutron has had years of experience making switches and dimmers already, so the smart tech is just a natural fit for their products. Love how they look on my walls. They've worked with my LED light bulbs and my LED recess lights. I haven't had any issues, no humming, no flickering, or anything along those lines, which is really good. And the fact that they don't connect to each other with Wi-Fi is a huge bonus if you wanna really deck out your house and add a ton of smart switches, dimmers, smart blind shades, all that stuff, you can do it and you won't slow down your network or anything along those lines. I'll be sure to report back in the future if anything else comes up. But overall, count me pleasantly surprised. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? 
and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.